Join us tomorrow as we wear red to raise awareness about heart disease and stroke. Friday, February 5th is National Red Wear Red Day. It's put on by Go Red for Women. And by doing this, you can show support for saving women's lives and preventing heart disease and stroke. A strut on State Street will be held in downtown Santa Barbara, and you can participate. It's tomorrow starting at 1215. Well, most fans can't afford to go to Sunday Super Bowl since ticket prices are for thousands of dollars, but there is still plenty of NFL fun to experience leading up to the big game. There is. Sports Director Mike Klan joins us live now from San Francisco. Hi, Mike. Hey, the streets of San Francisco are filled with families celebrating the NFL's biggest game at a fraction of the cost. One such spot, the NFL Experience. The NFL experience at the Moscone Center brings out the kid in all of us. Oh, great job, 7-4. Oh, Dad. Jeff Aguirre and his two sons traveled from Modesto to take in some Super Bowl 50 festivities. They're still your boys, right? No matter what, no matter how old you get, you're still your boys. So to be able to come out and have all three of us do something together while they're men, they're still my boys. Greatest experience ever. Team pride is everywhere, and everyone seems to enjoy testing their football skills in a variety of interactive attractions. Unlike Super Bowl tickets, the NFL experience won't break the bank. $35 for adults and $25 for kids 12 and under. We're SBL holders for Levi Stadium, and our seats are like $10,000, so definitely can't go to that. $35 is way better than $10,000. Oh, you did. <laughs> You got 31 exactly. Besides the activities, there are plenty of photo opportunities for the scrapbook. <laughs> and current and former NFL players are signing autographs at the NFL Experience. Raiders quarterback Derek Carr, Hall of Famer Tim Brown, and Steelers great wide receiver Antonio Brown have already stopped by. Live tonight in San Francisco, Mike Klan, back to you.